After having a bad day at work, most of us come back home and try to find a nice corner where we curl up and try to forget about it. Some decide to curse their luck, and some use all sorts of obscenities to vent out their frustration. For some, a nice cup of hot chocolate might do it. But then again, who can be bothered making a cup when they're in such a foul mood? Plus, there isn't much to look forward to either. But if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, a defeat is going to sting you like anything. But at least you get to go back to your place that's loaded with everything imaginable. You might have an in-house gym so you could put your gloves on and take out all your anger on the punching bag. If not that, you might just want to go to your nice jacuzzi and calm your thoughts. If that isn't enough, you've got a beautiful wife waiting for you who might try and make you feel better. And even if that doesn't work for you, you can pick out from a wide range of hypercars that you can take for a spin just to distract yourself. Not many people have such luxuries, but then again, not many people have the life that Cristiano Ronaldo's got. The legendary Portuguese forward has been at his peak for more than a decade and he's still going strong. Throughout his career, the 36-year-old has amassed the sort of fortune that most of us might never have in 10 lifetimes. Therefore, it's understandable that Ronaldo's got quite the eye for living the high life, and the place he calls home, wherever he goes, is quite the spectacle to look at. So today, we've decided to do a little video about Ronaldo's not-so-humble abode. After making a sensational return to Old Trafford, the former Real Madrid man moved into a stunning multi-million pound mansion that's got pretty much everything that you could desire. But before we start swooning over Ronaldo's new mansion, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon to stay notified about all things football. It's the sort of treatment that's reserved only for the biggest stars. A private jet flew Ronaldo from Faro in Portugal to Manchester. The legendary forward was greeted at the tarmac by United representatives and a security team. Rather than linger for a few autographs, the Ronaldo clan was immediately taken to a luxury villa rented for him in the countryside just outside Manchester. And the house is as huge as they come. It has seven bedrooms, a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, and a fitness complex. A six-man strong security team ensures permanent surveillance of the area, which comes in handy given how crazy people are about getting a little peek of their idol. Ronaldo's partner, Georgina Rodriguez, is actually no stranger to England, having lived on this side of the channel where she worked as a nanny before returning to Spain where she met Ronaldo. Like everyone who moves borders, Ronaldo was supposed to serve five days in mandatory quarantine. It might have been a boring experience for the Portugal international, but we're sure that he must have enjoyed the five days of isolation with his family in a beautiful mansion surrounded by countryside. Manchester United have been very keen to give their new signing a great environment to thrive in, and the mansion is a great start. It's built on a 16-acre area, and all seven bedrooms have their own walk-in closet and ensuite bathroom. In order to stay fit on a daily basis, Casa di Ronaldo has a large gym that's fully equipped with the best equipment that you can find anywhere on the planet. Ronaldo is famous for spending a lot of time in the gym, even on off days, while his wife is also a fitness buff. Cristiano Jr., meanwhile, aspires to become a renowned professional player just like his father and also spends time in the gym. The mansion also boasts a very big garden and there's an in-house swimming pool and a jacuzzi too. So after a good workout, the Ronaldo clan can relax by the pool or make full use of the jacuzzi. The Ronaldo family's new mansion also comes with a large cinema room which they use to watch movies and play games. Now, we all know that Ronaldo's got a bucket load of supercars at his disposal, and before leaving Juventus, he hired a moving company to take all of them to Portugal. However, the 36-year-old decided to keep a few cars around. Unfortunately, the parking of his residence has room for only two vehicles. <sighs> but it doesn't really matter, since nobody's going to be mad if the Ronaldos park their cars outside their premises. Well, unless they're Liverpool fans, maybe. It's a fine house, right? Well, folks, we've got some bad news for you. Ronaldo loved the mansion he was given by United, but it appears that a flock of bleating sheep has been quite a nuisance for the entire family. It appears that Ronaldo and his family lived inside the beautiful mansion only for a few days and then decided to leave due to noisy sheep and security fears. According to The Sun, the family decided to move to a new place in Cheshire. The new mansion is rumored to be worth £3 million and is owned by a former Man United player. Just like the previous mansion, this one also comes with a pool and a cinema and seven bedrooms. 
But more importantly, the garage can park four cars at the same time, which means that pretty soon we'll see Ronaldo arriving for training at Carrington in a car other than the Porsche he's using right now. We know that Ronaldo has quite the infatuation with supercars. He's already got quite a collection that includes hypercars such as the Ferrari Monza, Bugatti Chiron, among others. But it appears that his new neighbors aren't too impressed with the assortment of cars that the Portuguese star has. According to reports, the council officials in Alderley Edge, Cheshire, are thinking about instating a 20 mile an hour speed limit in the area so that Ronaldo doesn't end up driving like a maniac. Well, all we can say is that maybe Ronaldo's new neighbors have jumped the gun here, because throughout his career, Ronaldo's never been involved in a case of drunk driving. The Portuguese star isn't a regular drinker or anything, and he looks like a very responsible person. He might own some of the fastest cars on the planet, but you can be sure that Ronaldo is not going to cause pandemonium where he lives because of that. However, with Cristiano Jr. growing up and reaching an age where these kind of thrills could be quite an attraction, it could make sense that the local councilmen are trying to create a speed limit within the region.